It's a vibe on Lava Lounge. With me in the studio, I have Sean, Handy, and TJ. Every time you guys come through, it's always like you're overwhelmed for media rounds. I don't know what it is. What is it with the energy? Are you tired? Yeah, definitely (laughs) overwhelmed for media rounds. It's been back to back, back to back. So, yeah. (laughs) You're tired, you're exhausted. But you guys look good, by the way. You look thank very you nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank and, you. Okay, so good, good to see you. So you say that to everyone? <laughs> the way you, do, <laughs> the way you look good. Don't you look good? Yeah, of course yeah. I look you good. You look good, definitely. Good to see you. Thank you. So, because um, normally I used to have like two. So would you would you rather I, I do like one person or I just ask, you know, general questions like all of you guys at the same time? Or anyhow. Okay. So I'm going to start. Let me start with Handy. Ladies first. Okay. For you, like you sort of received the eviction like a champ, kind of like yeah. you saw it coming. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it about? And then I watched your diary sessions as well on Sunday. Yeah. And I know that you mentioned your name as mm-hmm. someone who mm-hmm. might be evicted on Sunday. Yeah. So what was it that, what was, what was, did you see anything? What was it that made you realize it just um, might be time? If we were still a pair as when X and I would be, feel very confident. But after we got separated, I was just like how the fans divide themselves in voting for people and everything. And then when I got nominated, I just like prepared myself for the worst. And mm-hmm. like, when it came, I wasn't shocked because I was already prepared for it. So yeah, I just took it like that. Mm, yeah. yeah. I mean, for TJ, did you see it coming? Uh, yeah, sort of, I did. So whenever I get nominated and we stand, I, like, like Handy just said, I do, I always... Uh, if I've had, I have this ritual where I give out stuff every mm-hmm. time we get nominated. So, but this time around, then a collective act <laughs> when Biggie tells us yeah. to sit down. But this time around, I just had this. You know, I think maybe because Ben left, and I just felt okay. If Ben had left the previous week, you then know, it may just maybe. yeah, it may just be that my time is up. So, yeah, I, I sort of, in fact, in my diary sessions as mm-hmm. well, just like Handy with, like, I also said myself and Handy may leave. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I didn't, didn't really, look, I didn't really look affected, and I, I sort of, yeah, took it like, yeah, it was good. Yeah, you also obviously you spoke about your wife on stage. Have you spoken yeah. to her? Have you seen her? Yeah, yeah, I have. She's cool. You've seen yeah. her, or you spoken to her? Yeah, it, it, obviously I've seen her on video. But but how about yeah. the twins? Yeah, the twins are good. They look like me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, they're fine. Going yeah. very fast. So okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that phase as well. Yeah. yeah. I think for Sean, um, I also watched the diary session. It was like, maybe it could be time, maybe not. And I feel like a lot of people outside also were not expecting it to happen. Mm. Um, for you, what, what was, did you know that it could happen on that day? And what was your reaction when you heard your name? I mean, I felt like it was going to happen, not because um, people weren't going to vote, but I felt like I had a hard time that week, you know, from... The show Your itself, reaction, like a lot of strike. Yeah. I, got, I mean, this felt like there was a lot of stuff happening that I didn't think was fair, personally, in my end. So I just felt like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like this week they'll probably get rid of me. That's how I felt. Do, do you think it was, it was more of that or the fact that, because from my angle, I used to think that the four of you who were sort of like in a clique were up compared to like, you know, the Aces and Nelita, that's what they call mm-hmm. them, right? Do you think that has something to play as well with the voting? Um, maybe, but... When I came on, I was kind of seeing the dynamics in terms of who has a fan base and who doesn't have a fan yeah. base. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, because you mentioned, <laughs> well, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. There were some, some of your analysis that were sort of wrong, you know, when you were in the house. Mm. But of course, we're going we're gonna to get that later. Now, for Handy, you were like the life of the party. You gave us the content. I really don't know what happened with the votes. <laughs> but Big Brother fans would be Big Brother fans. But then definitely you had, you know, a good run. Thank you. But my question for you now is, do you think that if you were in a ship, it would have sort of enhanced your game? Mm, no, I don't think so. Yes, ship might um, be of help to some people, but mm-hmm. not everybody. So I don't think so. I think I played my, my game well. I was myself, unap- mm-hmm. unapologetically. I was life of the party. I had fun. I had my laughs, my cries and everything. I just wanted people to love me for me and not because I was in a ship. So, yeah. I could have maybe made you get longer in the game or yeah, something. But but so. was there a possibility for that if there was someone you liked in the house? Um, no, no. You I didn't really want... didn't vibe with anybody romantically in the house. It was just like friendship, friendship, friendship vibe. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to TJ. But for you, Sean, you got in the ship in like week two. No, week one. Sorry, week one. Day two is what I'm going to say. 
and I I may be wrong, but then um, I feel like. Do you think that was enough time to build your individual fan base? If you're looking from that from that angle individually, um, to be honest, sorry, I just feel like people will naturally see how I am as a person. So yeah. if people kind of like me, it didn't rem- it didn't really matter whether I was attached to somebody else. And I think I'm quite a strong personality anyway. Yeah. So they'll just see and be like, I either like this guy, or I don't like this guy, regardless of if I was myself or in a ship to say. And I used to kind of float around and talk to different people, anyways. So I think people would have just seen different sides t- to me. So you don't think that sort of affected anything at all? Um, maybe in terms of like, not because you were in the ship, but the fact that you got in that, that fast. Quick. So was there enough time to actually build fans who were like shippers or core mm. Sean fans? Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I think maybe from the outside, like I've received a lot of love from people who just like me. Yeah, you know. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure if I can differentiate if it's like a shipping fan or just they yeah, like yeah. me, but um, it seems like it's just people who just like me as a person. So I mean, I saw I saw they gave you something yesterday. I saw yeah, that. I really appreciate that. I saw me. I saw that online. Um, for CJ, um, you were also very you were so valuable in the house. You yeah, know, thank you, yeah. you were unintentionally funny. I saw a lot of yeah. I see a lot of clips. You know, online. Um, how monumental, first of all, how would you describe your journey, you know, in Big Brother House? Yeah, I think uh, it was an ev- evolutionary journey. I saw it evolved. I think um, I kind of stayed into my shell uh, first, say, three weeks, trying to assess everything. Obviously, you know, um, you know, we're in a duo, so yeah. Ben, and Ben is quite a loud guy, so I sort of just was sort of the person that was doing a lot of intelligent work for the house and taking care of the house and maybe when people have one or two issues come to me and, t- and chit chat so i was actually fine with that you know i'm comfortable in my own space i'm not someone mm-hmm. that really goes out to be heard so when i came out and i saw like dance videos memes and all these things i yeah, was okay, like sorry, it was really, what's funny. going on yeah. here i was just being myself really so um i mean i was actually happy but when uh biggie dissolved the pairs you know, so, you know, and Ben was getting closer and closer and closer to Chisaba and it got obvious to me, like, they were becoming a sheep. Yeah. I sort of had to just let go, like, sort of let go of him, kind of. And um, so I did a lot of more blooming out, like, uh, sort of blooming up into my own personality, where who I am with my friends. Mm-hmm. So I showed a lot of that, like, louder side of me. I started getting louder in the house making my opinions here and forming new friendships which I didn't do when with, with Ben initially yeah. like Nelita and Aces you know I wasn't really talking to them in the first three four weeks mm-hmm. but afterwards we actually became really close and I discovered they really cared about me so yeah so I, I sort of evolved in the house and yeah but, and then that was capped by being HOH which I did enjoy though it came it was, came with a lot of challenges as well did you get a reward or compensation to t- nope. teach in the head of house <laughs> just Not responsibilities because <laughs> the same thing with ben big yeah. brother asked him to like say still i don't know if you guys he sort of Freeze. took eggs and everything okay, okay, and he was promised egg. the reward and he came here and he said he got <laughs> you know no reward but then speaking about how you know you got more vocal and had more like opinions that yeah. also you know was a little controversial outside. For instance, yeah. the Igbo conversation. Yeah. So I, I would need you to clarify that. Yeah. So so basically, it's uh, it's more. I think it was misunderstood. That's mm. the thing. Um, it wasn't about um, anything bad about the tribe or anything. I just felt like uh, there was maybe a clique. Then it was a it was an overthinking. Uh, it was something I overthought at that moment. Mm-hmm. But when I um, had a I had the chats with. You know, the bad way twins. They, even they felt I overthought it. So, I mean, we we just moved. Everybody sort of just moved on from it. And from what I perceive from the um, the fans and everybody, I, I think everybody has moved on from it. I'm not seen as that kind of person. So, it's all love from here. I, uh, I don't think there's really much to explain in that regard. Um, yeah. So it was just something I overthought at the moment, and I was vocalizing that thought mm-hmm. process to my my um my duo Ben then. So mm-hmm. but I, I did explain myself to the house afterwards. It wasn't like I said it in hate. Okay. 
So, but yeah, it's fine, really. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. For Handy, um, of course, for you and your sister, a big part outside was the Ruti drama. Mm -hmm. And she initially came out and said, you know, she did not regret the whole situation. A few days later, she, I don't know what she thought about it. I don't know, it was PR, I don't know what it is. She said she felt bad about what she had done with you guys. What's your, what do you think about the situation with Ruti and um. what she said post-show? It is what it is, to be honest. Um, the fire happened in the house, and she really said a lot of things that, firstly, they're lies, and like it was just very sad that she could say those things about women like her. But now, coming out of the house, I really don't want to even dwell on the fight anymore. I want to move past it. I'm not saying I'm going to go message or talk to her, but I just want to move past it and just forget about the entire drama, to be honest. Do you think you guys will be cool? No, nah, no, but I can't tell the future. Who knows? Okay, it seems quite cool. The fire is, <laughs> is, is, is down. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me move to Sean. Um, I'm pretty sure they've fed you a couple of things. Um, but my first question, though, um, I think so far, it's not enough heat, but I feel like you probably have the most heat per show for now. Probably. Yeah, but then um, I also know that before you went on the show, um, I feel like your friend Shags had probably the most trolling or also it was like the good and the bad side like great support at the same time great hate post show i don't think yours is close um but do you think you're able to handle you know you seem quite controversial do you think you're going to be able to handle all of that post show uh yeah i think it's pretty standard i mean like i already know like my personality yeah it's like a hot or cold thing it's just like you really love me or you don't like me at all so i'm kind of cool with both yeah. people who kind of understand me understand me people who don't understand me probably don't want to you know so mm -hmm. that's also fine but that's like anything in life you're gonna get the balance of I'm sure bad. yeah I'm curious so what's the, what's the I'm gonna ask what's the biggest misconception about you and that's because a major thing you were known for was being brutally honest but then I mean that works for me because I, I see it as being authentic but then it's a case of BBN fans, there is no right or wrong. If you talk about my fave, even if you're saying the right thing, mm. you know, they will drag you. But then if you're talking about somebody they don't like, they get to sort of hail you. So I think that was the situation with you. You would speak your mind, but then the fans are out there and like, why would you say this? I mean, there was Nelly and the, the likes of them. So just coming out, um, I've seen people call you proud, you know, arrogant, you're full of yourself. What do you, what, which one would you say is a misconception? Um, I mean, first of all, I, I love myself. I'm not, I'm not in, like, <laughs> okay, you heard me say that. You know, like self love. Yeah. You know, if you don't big yourself up, then who's gonna mm -hmm. big you up? But I know that like, there's a fine line between like um, confidence and arrogance, and sometimes it's hard to tell the line. I'm a very like humble person in as a, as a as a human being, but mm -hmm. maybe how I carry myself, people might project their own perceptions yeah. of me to myself. You know. But I think that's okay. It's not, I don't think those th it's going to change anytime soon. I think as long as I'm still how I am, mm -hmm. people will still have those sort of feelings. But it's, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So this one, I, I'm personally interested in the response because you get in the show, you're like top three most talked about. You're still most kind of like talked about a lot. Maybe the dynamics has changed. I don't know. Um, your partnership with Vicky, Victoria. Because you go into a show that initially it's like you have to compete as a pair. Mm. And you guys go in and it was just like you guys were like this. You know, and there was just out there was just outside yeah. that you guys might have dated before, she cheated, I don't know which is true. But then I just didn't feel like you got I feel like you guys had issues before you went inside the house. So first of all, were you exes? No, we never done anything romantically. Mm. So what was it with, with that vibe when you guys got in? I feel like I wish people saw it like a different way or had maybe like a different percep um, perspective on it. But obviously we had a little bit of issues on before we came in as friends Friend. would do you and argue or whatever. You know, so I think we argued about something small, nothing, but it just irritated me. So in the house, I just wanted a little bit of space. Knowing that you're, you're going to play as a pair? No, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to leave you to be by yourself. I just knew, I thought, well, we you know what we're here for. We yeah. have to build connections. So I thought, I'm going to go and build connections. You're going to build connections. I would, you know, come mm -hmm. back and see where you kind of stand in terms of the old people in the house. There were 28 people in the house, yeah. you know. So I think I wish people saw it from the angle of 
if we're here to play a game and she was not really doing much at the first mm-hmm. two weeks because mm-hmm. she found it a lot she's an overthinker whatever yeah what did people expect me to do i can never force anybody to be more talkative or be more interactive in the house like, i can't do that so imagine how like as a dual season like whatever i do affects her whatever she does affects mm-hmm. me so now she's affecting my game because she's not interacting with other people and we need to interact with people mm-hmm. to build um connections so people can build alliances and all that type of stuff so on my end it's very frustrating god was not a game plan at all yeah you know but people kind of saw it as oh i'm just not talking to it wasn't that yeah I, th- I think it was a thing of yes you were not talking to her um she was having a hard time i just felt there was probably something pre-show before you guys got yeah. in and also it felt like you may have been looking down on her or not giving her like an option to also be involved an instance was when you one head of ours and then you said i pick not we mm. so it was more like you were very self-centered yeah, you I know think, and what you did yeah. was that built her fan base yeah, a lot of people told me so that. they played she wasn't giving content but then you gave them the victim card to hold on yeah, to yeah, and so they wrote that. on that and that's what you did which wasn't my intention i know i think with the i thing i only said that i think because like in there it was like one year handy were like my people yeah. she wasn't really close to them but we had a conversation about that already so everything every decision we made we already had a conversation about but they never might have shown it so whatever the case is mm-hmm. even the times when I'm, we might be going back and forth you know she was just a lot of times that she was quiet it was more her own personal mm-hmm. so she's a big overthinker so the cameras have her own personal perception that was what the real issue was it yeah. had nothing to really do with me per se of course I could have been more maybe supportive or whatever but it wasn't like, oh, yeah, Sean has left me and now I'm going to cry. Nah, it wasn't about that. Yeah. But then, I mean, that was an agenda to hold on to. If I was paid to do PR, I'll, I'll do the same. <laughs> I'll do the same. <laughs> yeah, but I was on your side anyways. Oh, but, I you. mean, you did what you did. It is yeah. what it is. Um, For Handy, I mean, yesterday, she, your sister broke down crying. She cooked. And next thing, she just said crying. Yeah. You're just like that. I was like, hey, yeah. Have you guys ever been apart? Because yeah. your bond is crazy. Yes, we have, but anytime we're apart, we still have the chance to speak or text. So this is like the, really the first time, if she stays till 71 days, really the longest we've ever gone without speaking to each other directly. And it's going to hurt, but I know she's a strong girl and she can definitely, definitely handle it. What happens when you guys get married, though? Uh, we're going to get married the <laughs> same day now. Yes, now. Then leave apart? Not, we'll stay in the same state. Okay, th- that, yeah. th- that's that's two works. I think I asked the same question in the house as well. So what happens when you get married? <laughs> you can't yeah. like you stay in the same state now. Maybe I'll be in like you should be in VI or I'll be in Oniru. You should be in um, Ikoi. Can you like, handle? Have you ever done that before? Even at the same state, but like maybe different locations. Yeah, you have. Yeah, when I when was, was dating, that? when she was dating, she'd be in a boyfriend's house and like that, be that home. That doesn't so. count. Like yeah. full on apart. Apart, apart. No, yeah. no. We always see one way or the other. Oh, no. So it's gonna be tough. Yeah, very tough. Okay, speaking of which, um, of course, a lot of people also felt like you were constantly, sometimes when they're arguing, when you're, you're constantly in the mix of Sean and Wani. Yeah. Do you think that there were times where you could have given them space? Yeah, I did give them space. And that's why I always say maybe a lot of the times they showed me on the show was like when I was with them most times. And I had times that I was on my own a lot of times. But times they were arguing, I was called to the mix a lot of times Aww. to see what was happening and like give my own opinion. So I had to, and there were times they were arguing. I'm like, when I've stayed a bit, I'm like, oh, I have to give you guys time now to like yeah. do things on your own and I leave. So I just, I don't know. It is what it is. But I don't mind being there for my sister and my friend, Sean, anytime they need me. Sean, so, yeah. how do you feel about her constantly being in the mix? It wasn't even like constant. And yeah. In house, because she was one of like my closest people, so it was fine, really. The, the, it was probably like maybe only two times where we were like, okay, cool. And it was in arguments. Anything else was pretty much fine. We even like called her to come more yeah. often, type of thing. So uh, maybe they just didn't show those parts. It's probably just showing her when, you know, in our space, but then they maybe show her doing other things by herself. Yeah. Okay, for TJ, there was this conversation. The name wasn't clear. You did mention who are you talking? You're talking to Victoria, yeah. and you mentioned that I heard a name, but I, I, I'm not sure. But then you did mention that someone was bisexual in the house. Yeah. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So who who is the person? Uh, <laughs> so 
Oh, I just I wouldn't say what you want to say. Go I ahead. Wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't want to address that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but then, what what did you mean with that conversation? Like, just yeah. Uh, so it was. I, I think it was really just joke. We we're just joking around, and maybe just someone was drunk or something. You don't have like to call that. the person's name, but were you joking? No, no. So the, I mean, when I was talking with the person, with so the Victoria. Person was joking. No, no, no. The per, the other. Okay, person. the other yeah, part. So probably mm. were drunk and all that. So, but and I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to talk more about that. I don't think you're joking. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to move on from that one. And um, I'm still going to continue. Let me, let me go back to Sean. Um, so, Oyinka's found his way in my DM. I wasn't going to ask you anything about Oyinka. So, let me just find it and ask anyways. Um, so, apparently, first of all, she was remembering you yesterday because I think they have an, an, a task that you could have fit into. I think it had to do with football and modeling or something. Mm. And, you know, Ozzy and the likes were also saying that, you know, it would have been nice for you to be there. Um, but here's my question. I'm just going to sum it up. I think there are shippers, um, Wani and Sean shippers, who are probably, I don't know, maybe some insecurities or something. So how would you describe your relationship with Onyeka? Because it felt like some people felt that you liked her. I mean, personally, I feel like this is my own personal opinion. Yeah. But like any girl there gone for them yeah. in that way I, I already when I came on the first day there's a reason why I kind of just went with Wani because she kind of fit what I would kind of go for on the mm-hmm. outside and I analyzed everybody else I was like yeah this is more my type you know so there was nobody else who really moved me I, I pretty much for that if I wanted to go for anybody else I could, probably could have so there was no nothing romantic, romantic. Between me and oh, yeah, cause she was cool and we had like a real like friendship in terms of like joining yeah. conversations and we're honest with each other and that was pretty much it really plus you had the thing with her and Ozzy was more the thing yeah and then, yeah. then that anyways moving on from that also you and Aces were like pretty cool there was like the brotherhood thing in the beginning I think you had like your brotherhood shippers initially what happened in that mix because I think maybe when I got with um, Wani. Wani, um they felt like oh well this might be a, a small a, in my personal opinion, anyways, I haven't spoken about this with them, but it came across to me that, oh, maybe they thought, yeah, I want to go and get in a ship as well, because this might be fun. Because, you know, we were young guys. Yeah. Well, I'm getting old, but so we're, we're <laughs> really? in our 20s, and mm-hmm. obviously there's girls, whatever. But when there's guys and attractive girls, you naturally gravitate towards each other. So I think when I kind of jumped in a ship early, they kind of wanted to find their own little partners or whatever. Yeah. And then once you kind of find found our partners kind of just stuck there and that was like a comfort um black yeah. so we kind of left a little bro romance thing that we had going on but we're still kind of cool but everybody kind of just kept to themselves and was with their ships you know so you don't think there was something else because it felt like you and Sh- Suj had like some well more me, Suj yeah yeah uh, whenever I talk about this it feels like people feel, I, I'm surprised people don't see I don't maybe don't understand when I explain it I didn't have any issue with Suj I just feel like Suja has imitated, in, imitated me in the house. We've done like a little act and improv thing. So okay. he knows how I am. He knows that because right, if there's any problem happening to anyone, I'm just going to address it with you. Yeah. And if you're meant to be my friend and you thought whatever you thought, mm-hmm. then just come and address it with me. And when he tried to address it with me before I left, it was things that I never even said. So it was just carrying a grudge about things that I never ever said. So after that conversation, I decided, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Just let it. it's not the type of person that I particularly want to be around like that. But you're cool with Tofa. I like Tofa. I actually like him a lot. He's a cool guy. Even though I know he said something about me one time, someone told me, but I might not really hold a grudge against him. I think it was... I don't know if it's the same one I watched, but I think it's... it's. I don't know. I can't remember. But then I think it was more of him taking switch side. side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so Tofa kind of yeah. be like that sometimes. He's easily sweet in my personal that, I mean, that's his pair. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, moving on from that, um, let's see... Okay, so for Handy, just just coming out, um, what what is the one thing that you've had that shocked you? Um, the bouquet being married shocked uh-huh. me. I know everybody would have asked you, so I didn't know yes. about that. Yeah. So yeah, that was the biggest shocker for me. How come no nobody noticed though? Like, 
they were sneaking to kiss. Nobody, yeah, nobody. Yeah, I had a feeling, and like people were like probing them and probing them, but they kept denying it. Like Kelly would go full on defense mode, trying to everybody, no, yeah. no, 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 no. So I was like, okay, if he's being like this, let me just take your word for it. And that was it. So when I came out and they were married, I'm like, wow. And they've been dating for ten years and married for like about yeah. three months or so. I'm like, wow, these guys really played the game so well. And you so wanted well. to flirt with Kelly Ray. Yeah, it if was that just, had happened, how would you feel now? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel, but I won't blame mm-hmm. myself because I'm act- I was acting based on what was said in the house. So I won't blame myself for anything. I'll just say, okay, you played your game. But if Kelly would have played into it, I'd be like, uh-uh. you know the real deal and you're playing into it so deeply like this. So I don't know what to say. Yeah. For TJ, you were very observant. I mean, you would you had certain predictions and they were true. For instance, mm-hmm. you know, on Sunday, you kind of said who was going to be evicted, you know, and just a couple of other things. Who in the house do you think is playing the game? Yeah, obviously, Double K. You know, they played, I think they played the best game in the house. Now, while you yeah. were in the house. Now yeah. you know because you're out. While yeah. you're in the house. Yeah, while well, yeah, I was even, yeah, if you, if you listen to my diary sessions, mm-hmm. I always put them up as dark horses in the game. Um, in the sense that I, I act, from week three, I thought they were going to be favorites to win, honestly, because they had they would never stood up for nomination. So that triggered some mm-hmm. some sort of spidey sense in me to say, what are these guys up to? So I actually was suspicious of something like heavily romantic going on, mm. but I'm not someone that would try to force a narrative on someone else. And Kelly Ray is my guy. He kept he. I saw how personal he took it when he when when he was questioned about their romantic mm. involvement. So I didn't I didn't want to force it. But I was convinced more than ever that in fact there was a point I didn't talk to him but I talked to Cassia. I spoke I told her like mm. there's a lot of love here because the story they were giving was that sort of in the house was that he was still maybe trying to persuade her or something. So I was uh. like Yeah, he really loves you. It's obvious to love him back. There's only so much time for reciprocation of love. So yeah, me and he was convinced though that it was on but to what extent it was the issue and seeing that they are married shocked a bit but not not really surprised. I just knew they were myself and Tofadu always spoke about it and we oh, were okay. sure that they had cooked up something, something. really massive. Fair. But we we didn't take it as far as even OC to suspected as well. There was only a time I joked about it and said Cassia was Kelly's wife. OC too used to joke that she had two kids mm-hmm. outside. Yeah, so yeah, I'm I'm just a, I'm a bit sure I'm I'm just um impressed by the game, but not um not overly shocked. Really. That yeah. happened. Speaking of um, Cassie and Kelly Ray, for you, Sean, you mm. did not, especially in the first few weeks, even up to like the middle, you didn't see them as a strong contender. You spoke about it, especially Cassie. I think you said she wasn't gonna. La- I can't remember your exact words, but she wasn't gonna last. And then I think one of your hand, he said. You never know, you know, what's happening outside. That was another trigger. So it was like, I'm going to show you, <laughs> you know. So, so how, why is it that you felt like you knew things that were happening in the house? I think that puts you in a lot of trouble. I didn't, I didn't feel like I knew, but I, I'm someone who likes to analyze stuff a lot. And yeah. Maybe speculate or whatever. I throw it out there. So, I mean, I've never thought they were married because I'm not even close to them. Mm-hmm. But from the dynamics in the house, I didn't really see them do anything. So I just thought... If they're not really doing anything and necessarily interacting with the rest of the group or creating some sort of content mm-hmm. or whatever, I don't understand how people can... They'll have fans. Have you been watching Big Brother before now? I, I watched the Level Up, a bit of All Star. That was it. Oh, no wonder. So that I'm not a Big Brother fanatic and knows the ins and outs or whatever. Oh, you know? okay. So I see that. But then you've been in reality TV shows outside then, so you're judging right, based on that. And you're as a peak on just because of aesthetics, and really? that's it. Mm. <laughs> that's even like aesthetics wise, I was like, the other people who you like, for me, I always look at people and be like, because they start quality. I was friends with Victoria when I said aesthetic. Okay, yeah, yeah. exactly. So I knew Victoria wise that people may like yeah. her, even if she does nothing, just based on her aesthetics. But I also knew that you have to do something. Like, they can like There him, has to be something. But it yeah. has to be a little bit, you have to give them something, you know. But you you did you gave them something for her though. I know. So, I yeah, love you. <laughs> I'm going to touch you with that because it's annoying. Then she went as well when you were evicted. To tell something like she was excited. Did you guys have issues? I didn't. Uh, you know, maybe people have carry stuff in the heart. I didn't have any issues with Chinwe and Zion, but maybe because I put them up, maybe. Oh. And it wasn't personal to them. It's just, I mean, I wasn't that close 
to them. But probably I was cool with Zion, but I wasn't that close to Chinwe. And Chinwe was causing a ruckus in the house, man. So I was yeah. like, yeah. So maybe that's what, probably what it was. When you come up, you might see who the people you put you up, and maybe she didn't like that. So I don't yeah. take it personal. That's cool. Oh, so right here, they came out to, I don't know why they put that information out. I don't know if you've seen the video. They came out and said that <laughs> you and Wani were intimate lots of times in the house and started, but then obviously the conversation in the house was different. Um, but just being that day, I don't want your opinion, you know, on that one. But now that you're out of the house, um, what are your plans going forward, all of you? Starting with CJ. Yeah, so I plan to pursue acting. Um, it's something that I discovered in voiceover artistry. So it's something I discovered that I, you know, I did uh, get a lot of good comments from outside. So it's just something I'll try to chase up and see how far I can go with that. Mm -hmm. yeah, and obviously I did love artwork in the house as well. Yeah, so that's, that's also something I'm, I'm going to pursue. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What about you, honey? Um, same. Um, is, um, going to be more of one X and DJing, touring, music production. I'm sure by the end of the year. It's basically that for me personally. I'm still like um, setting up my personal brand, so mm -hmm. it's going to be more of one X and D for now. Okay. Yes. What about you, Sean? Yeah, mine's like um, acting. Cause I'm into fashion, so I have a clothing line. I'm going to be pushing that as well. So those are like the two main things that. Yeah, you've been pushing. doing. Yeah. Have you seen Tokay yet? <laughs> <laughs> I just asked. She has a lot of love for you, though. Like she, she. I mean, I, I take all those things with like a pinch of salt. I think yeah. people probably deepen it more than she actually is. I think she's kind of just having fun. With I it. think it's exactly. It's okay. So she's just gonna yeah. pepper them just because of their saying it. But then um, she's obviously a fan, you know, regardless. Of well, if I ever meet them in person outside of the house, then I'm right. sure we'll just have a cool conversation. What about you and Wani? What What is it going forward? Yeah, just waiting for it to come out and we'll just take it however and naturally it happens. Are you guys going to like go full on? Do you, is that a possibility? I think everything is possible depending on if the vibe is still exactly the same as it was from mm. the outside. Because you know sometimes time may make you start thinking different things yeah. or whatever. You might come out. The outside world also makes you feel differently, you know, so... But for me, we'll see. I'm waiting for it to come out and we'll see how it goes. I think you guys are cool. But then the conversation you guys had about you being AS is like... Mm. Uh, <laughs> but anyways um yeah but then lastly do you want to say anything to fans anybody maybe hates his lovers do you want to put some drama out any of you i mean i'll say obviously to my fans the utmost love on my end especially after yesterday with what they they done for me so i really appreciate them um to the haters i love you guys as well you know so love okay Honey. same i just want to appreciate everybody that loved me and voted for me and like just were there for me all the step of the way, getting me to week eight. Love you. I love you guys so much. Big H signing out. TJ. Yeah, so What's for it? me, it's just to say thank you for to the TJ Army. Um, thank you to everybody that voted, supported, shared me on, especially when the twins were birthed. Um, my my lady got so much love. Twins got gifts. It was amazing seeing how they were received, and that was mind blowing for me. So. Yeah, thank you. I, I don't. I've not really seen much hate, okay. but obviously there will. I've I've seen a lot of you know hate from my colleagues and my fellow housemates. But I just like to say if, you know, just pity people's mental health before you go on your keyboards. Like we are if human TJ's beings. If complain about mental health, yeah. what should Sean do? <laughs> no, I said people. All yeah, right, yeah, so yeah. just try to be positive, try to be considerate with your comments, you know, uh, and I understand it's a game show, everybody has emotions, but we're all human beings, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'd really love at least a little bit of love from everybody. And yeah. it's never that deep. Yeah, right? and yeah, go to Wani, keep deep. voting Wani. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, who do you think is winning though? Wani, 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 all the way. Yeah, I have faves. Uh, uh, in my, you know, in my own, my heart, though, I would love Anita to win it after Anita, uh, Wani, Wani, and then Nelly. But I think Kelly Ray will win it. Okay, what about yeah. you? Uh, maybe Wani, Victoria, Kelly Ray. Okay, all right, guys, my time is up with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank Wish you guys you. the Thank best you. um on your journey going forward. And of course, I'm rooting for three of you. Thank you so much. Right. It was lovely having Thank you as you. well. Same here. All right, Lava Lounge with TK. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. It's a vibe, a vibe. on Lava Lounge. 93.3.